Join me, everyone. Let's catch the wave on Arirang Radio. All right, everyone. Welcome back. Let's catch the wave. It is now time for K Talk with Hyunu Sunseng Nim. <laughs> 안녕하세요. When you say with, I, I feel like I'm a pro wrestler. I know. Yeah. You know, it's like I before coming onto the ring, right? Yeah, enter the ring and Ooh. fight you, Adrian. <laughs> with Hyunu Sunseng Nim. <laughs> Welcome to the show. Good to have you here. How are you today? I'm feeling fine. Thank yeah? you for having me once again. I am wearing blue, and you're wearing something like um, with some stripes. With some red hey, on we, your shirt. We kind shirt. of match. Yeah, we kind of do. Kind I of have some match. red here too. So yeah. uh, <laughs> I guess we're kind of like brothers here. Yeah. Uh, and we're happy, of course. We have uh, this segment prepared for you, our viewers, you, our listeners, every single week. Uh, we teach you some Korean expressions. We also listen to you and your audio clips. We will do that in the second hour. And Hyunwoo Sanseng Nim also answers some of your questions related to Korean language, but also to Korea, Korean life, Korean people. So feel free if you want to participate, send us your messages on Facebook and also on the message board, arirangradio.com. Yeah, and I would like to use this opportunity to yep. give a short shout out to everybody who watches the videos too because I'm putting this up on our uh, Talk To Me Korean YouTube channel as well. So if you're watching, if yeah. you're listening to us uh, live, that's fantastic too. Mm -hmm. But if you're watching the videos, as thank well. you. Thank you very much as well. Indeed. So if you miss a live show, you can always check it out on YouTube. Type in Catch The Wave. Yes. And the expression that I've prepared for today, mm -hmm. the first one is this one. 울며 겨자 먹기. Yeah. I'll show it up close. What does <laughs> that mean? So uh, <laughs> 겨자. 겨자 is the key word here mm -hmm. and it's translated to mustard. Kyoja is mustard, yes. yes. So, ulmyo. Ulmyo is the action of crying. Yeah. Ulda is cry. Mm -hmm. And ulmyo is while crying or when you are crying and uh -huh. kyoja mokki means eating mustard. Yeah, mokta is to eat. Yes. So, mokki is a noun form of mokta, the verb. So, ulmyo... <laughs> so, I don't understand. I mean, you're crying and you're eating mustard at the same time. Yeah, I mean, the mustard sauces that you can find in convenience stores or in restaurants, mm -hmm. they're kind of watered down and mixed with other things. Okay. And they're even s somehow sweet too, hmm. right? Somehow Sometimes, sweet. yes. Sometimes. But the mustard itself can it's be strong. really strong oh. and really bitter and sour at the same time. Yeah. Just at the it thought of it. It stings you, you your nose and it yeah. makes you cry sometimes. <laughs> so... Crying because of mustard or shedding tears because of mustard mm -hmm. can be something not related to your emotions, but when you do eat it, you get to cry, right? Yeah. So, so, <laughs> so what's it's like a an impulsive reaction, or it's like a, a nat natural. Uh, could be, could be. That's a possible interpretation. Natural reaction to <laughs> your environment. Well, the uh, actual usage of this expression is that when you have to do something mm -hmm. and you don't want to do it you hate it as much as eating mustard plain mustard oh. like mm. alone without anything you know with it so it would be a painful thing to yes. do and you have it's to like do a it punishment yeah so a uh, similar expression in english i believe is bite the bullet uh -huh. or doing something against one's will so <laughs> when I you say 울며 겨자 먹기 or uh, as a as a linked expression, people also say 울며 겨자 먹기로 as mm. eating mustard while crying. I see. Yeah, people say 울며 겨자 먹기로 했어요. I did it against my will. Yes, when you have to do something against your will, yeah. you are basically forced uh, to maybe do something because your parents asked you to do it or mm -hmm. because your teacher forced you to do it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 울며 겨자 먹기. I hope it's not like that for... Uh, when you're learning Korean. <laughs> <laughs> well, sometimes it could be. Uh, one of our interns that talked to me in Korean, Terrace, he's also attending Tehagwan, uh -huh. a graduate uh, school, and yeah. he was memorizing hundreds of Chinese characters. Oh, wow. The That's Hanja hard. characters. They were really hard. I was actually laughing at first, but when I looked at the actual characters mm. he was memorizing, those were really hard ones. Mm. And he said, uh, I have the exam tomorrow. I have to memorize them by tonight. And he was... <laughs> Yeah, almost crying. Oh. And it's hard sometimes. Uh, you don't always do what you want to do. And I think life is a bit like that. You can't always mm -hmm. 
uh, you know, have everything your own way and you have to adjust to your environment. Sometimes you also have to listen to the people around you, the people who are above you if you work mm -hmm. in a company yeah. or if you're at school, you have to listen to uh, your seniors or your teachers. That's right. And also when you have no options left to you know, choose from, mm -hmm. but just this one option that you don't really prefer, mm -hmm. that case can be described as 울며 혀자 먹기. There you go, everyone. The first expression for you today on K-Talk with Hyunwoo. We'll take a little song break and we'll come back with the second expression. So stay tuned. And if you have any comments, join us. Send us your feedback. The song we're going to play now is Song ji Eun featuring Zilo Vintage. <laughs> Yes, I can feel your love tonight. Welcome back. Hyunwoo is still here. Of course, he's not going anywhere. You're listening to Catch the Wave on Arirang Radio. And let's now move on into uh, the second expression for you today. Sure. The second expression is related to arms. Mm -mm. We both have arms. I'm trying to arms. do what the drawing <laughs> is showing here. So the expression is 팔은 안으로 굽는다. Yeah. 팔은 like 안으로 굽는다. That's right. Once again. Yeah. I mean, if you think about it, it's such a simple thing uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> because 팔 means arm and 안으로 means to toward the inside and uh -huh. 굽다 is to fold to fold or to bend. Yeah, to bend. Yeah, so 굽는다, it's just another way to say it. So 팔은 안으로 굽는다, it's a declarative, declarative statement. It's quite arms it bend to inside. Be obvious. I mean, it it's very obvious. If your arms bend the opposite way, you, I think have, you have to go to the hospital. Yeah, you have to go see the doctor. It can be or dangerous. Have a, have I guess a if surgery. you're doing some some b boy dance, it could happen. No, <laughs> it could happen sometimes As, by uh, accident. Please, no, not, not a nothing good thing. like that. <laughs> At least not on Catch the Wave. <laughs> no, no, not here. Okay, so, so don't what, make me do any crazy moves. No. But, uh, so what does it mean? Parer anro. So people often say this when they are talking about a situation where one person uh, favors a person. Another person. Uh, another person uh -huh. and not so much to a third person. Mm. So I'm thinking of examples. Let's say I'm applying for a job. Yes, that's a good example. Um, and the person who interviews me mm -hmm. is, is your, from... Is your uncle. <laughs> <laughs> Well, if he's my uncle, uh, then I guess... Uh, <laughs> you got the job a, already yeah, sometimes. It's not a really fair interview. But let's no. say he's from the same school mm. I graduated from. Yeah, yeah. Then maybe that person will favor you. Exactly. Instead of other uh, interviewees. Mm -hmm. And after he favors you and he gives you the job mm -hmm. and not the other candidates, what he can say or what other people can say to describe why he did that is exactly this expression. Yeah. 팔은 안으로 굽는다 or 굽잖아요. Mm. You know, 항상. 항상. Arms, always. Arms always bend inside, not outside, outward. Yeah. So, <laughs> Meaning that it's it's maybe something natural yeah. or obvious. It's a very obvious thing. Hmm. You know, it's difficult to go against this rule. Yeah. So you have a little bit of bread, a loaf of bread in your hand, and it, you, it's your in your right hand. Uh -huh. And if you... I have it. I you have, have it. it. And if you bend your arm inward, it'll go to someone or to yourself or to someone who's <laughs> left putting it to or, myself or on your left side yeah. not the other way around so uh -huh. yeah. so that's why you have that little drawing with the crossed arms huh? mm -hmm. so you can look at it once again here yeah so what i'm trying to describe with the drawing here is this person giving two people equal choices equal opportunities mm -hmm. you know being fair but most of the time 파른 안으로 굽는 that describes an unfair situation mm -hmm. favoritism uh, has that ever happened to you have you been a victim of this before Hyunu? all the time I mean, all the time <laughs> why all the time I mean, all the time i am either a victim of this or a beneficiary of this because people are not fair to begin with people you can't expect everybody to be totally fair right yeah so life is unfair life is unfair uh when at talk to me in korean when i uh when we chose the latest employee to hire her last name happened to be the same as mine and people were saying hey. Son Hyunwoo yeah and her name is Son Kyunghwa people were saying <laughs> 팔은 안으로 굽는다 <laughs> but to be fair we didn't know that she would be chosen she was chosen 
like really it was fairly okay so, uh, don't uh, uh, misunderstand me it but, was uh, based your decision was based on on her uh, competences yeah, right yeah abilities not her last name no. not how i am well i hope her. not at least that's not a good way to manage your company no no <laughs> if if it's the case it's not the case okay so uh, yeah Some people jokingly said, <laughs> 팔을 안으로 굽는다더니. <laughs> 팔을 안으로 굽는다. So you can, uh, actually this expression is quite often used here in Korea. I've heard it several times yeah. before. So um, if you talk to Koreans, if you work here, or if you maybe study here, you will eventually hear this expression at some point or yeah. another. And some people, when they want to emphasize the fact that it's such an obvious thing to do, they also say, 팔이 안으로 굽지, 밖으로 굽냐? <laughs> <laughs> when they want to maybe uh, prove the fact yeah, that they justify. did something right. Yeah, or justify. They, yeah, justify themselves. <laughs> Sounds good. So that's the second expression for you today. You can check out our photo, everyone. Just go on Facebook. And uh, if you want to see the expressions again with uh, the romanization, uh, you can also look that up online. And if you have any questions for Hyunu, send them in as well. Because in the second hour, we will not only listen to your audio clips, but our Sansengnim, our teacher, will also answer your curiosities. So feel free. We're going to play some music and we'll be back in just a moment. Moment, everyone. This is Kai. Torawa Napun no. Come back, you bad boy. That's right, everyone. Let's catch the wave all together. We are surfing on Hallyu, the Korean wave, movies, dramas, music, and Korean language today. Hangul, Hangugo. Many of you are learning. Maybe all alone, or perhaps uh, with Hyunwoo's website, of course, talktomeinkorean.com. Mm -hmm. Perhaps at school, uh, maybe with some Korean friends. Maybe you're doing some kind of language exchange program. Or you're doing all of those things. Or maybe all of them. <laughs> And the people who are really into it are probably doing many different things. Yeah, maybe in Korea or in other parts of the world. That's right. We have a message here. The first one is uh, from California. Uh -huh. Robin. Robin from California. I'm living in South Korea, however. Uh, I wanted to practice reading Korean faster, so I downloaded some Korean rap songs <laughs> to practice my speed. <laughs> I guess that's maybe going to help. I'm not too sure. Here's mm. a clip of my practice session. It's a part from G-Dragon's One of a Kind. Okay. Kandu, are you ready? I'm ready. You're going to have to open your ears Yeah. Wide. My ears are open. I, I don't know how to close them. No. Here we go. This is Robin. Young and rich, that's yeah. Mara Maria. So, I'm fast, so what? It's okay. You can chang nan nan ya. Nan chang nan nan ya. <laughs> wow, congratulations. <laughs> That's really fast. Hyunwoo, yeah. you're going to have to translate for us here. <laughs> I give up. I give up. <laughs> well, that was really nice. <laughs> that was actually quite fast. Quite fast. and She was on the beat, no? Yeah, the pronunciation was quite clear as well. Did I, you? I didn't understand everything, to be completely honest. I mean, if I were to listen but, to but the usually, original song, I wouldn't understand Yeah, either. that's what I mean. Like yeah. Very often when you hear rap songs, you mm. don't understand what they're talking about. Or you only hear words here and there yeah i don't know about other languages and you guys but in korean when people rap in korean and mm -hmm. i hear it for the first time it's very common that i don't understand maybe more than 30 percent yeah of what the singer is saying so uh, i have to look at the lyrics and then i realize oh actually this is what he's saying or she's saying and mm -hmm. it rhymes and everything uh, and after i understand it Through the written lyrics, yeah. and if I listen to the rap song again, then, then I understand. Then you clearly hear the words. Yeah. But no one can get it like at no. once. Yeah, It's too quick, too fast. So that's my excuse for not understanding everything that yeah. Robin but she, said. But it's very courageous because, first of all, it's hard to rap in your own mother tongue. Yeah. So rapping in... A second language or third language uh -huh. is even harder. So I think it's a it's a good challenge you gave yourself. And I don't know, Hyunwoo, does it really help to practice um, with rap songs if you want to increase your speed? I think it does in some ways, but it shouldn't be all you are doing. Mm -hmm. It should be a part of what you're doing to improve your skills. I actually used to practice uh, singing rap songs in yeah. English just to 
practice my <laughs> yo man what's up yeah speaking skills i wanted to speak yeah. faster so yeah i okay. guess it'll help well guess what we're gonna listen to it once again uh try to catch maybe a, a <laughs> few more words here here we go this is gd one of a kind robin <laughs> Young and rich, that's not a Maria. So I'm fast, so what? It's okay. You can chang na nanya, na chang na nanya. I got the last part. Yeah. Yeah. Chang na nanya. Get back, ego chang na nanya. <laughs> <laughs> GD, one of a kind. Thank you very much, Robin, for your message, and uh, continue working hard. Yes, good luck with uh, your Korean skills. And if you have any questions, if we can help you, uh, or if Hyunu can help you in any way, send us a message as well. Thank you very much. Let's move on to the second message this time. Okay. Um, this message is uh, actually um, related to our mission. You know how we asked our listeners to. Send us a, an audio clip with the word 사랑. Yes. 사랑, and which means love. Love. Mm-hmm. Uh, we have uh, Nelly96, and she's an avid listener here on the program. She says, 안녕하세요, Nelly입니다. Uh-huh. Uh, I hope that the listeners will enjoy this song by Dabichi. It definitely says 사랑. Enough. <laughs> so multiple times. Yeah. Um, I'm also planning on sending a short introduction in Korean later on. Okay, cool. sounds good. Yeah. We'll listen to your uh, song first. This is the Beachy. <laughs> actually a long a long audio clip yeah i think she's saying the whole song almost right yeah, yeah almost the whole song and that's really good really good you're a great singer Whoa. <laughs> and it sounded like uh, somewhat somebody who speaks korean as a native speaker was her pronunciation singing. was actually really good very good um I, I can't point out any mistakes and it definitely had this part 사랑. yeah the word 사랑 in many places. The song itself is called 사랑, 사랑아. Yeah, 사랑, 사랑아. <laughs> love, my love. Love, my love. Or <laughs> it's uh, just like the, the title of the song is making the mm-hmm. subject 사랑 mm-hmm. look like a person. 사랑아, don't yeah. go. It's like she's talking to love. Yeah. She's talking to her love, maybe. Mm-hmm. Uh, I like, I mean, of course, the lyrics. I also like that part. Chururuk, chururuk. Chururuk, chururuk. It, it imitates the sound of tears falling yeah. on your cheeks, mm-hmm. maybe, or on your face. It can be raindrops, tears, or other things. Chururuk, chururuk. chururuk. <laughs> Piga, chururuk. So, yeah, you could say this only when you're crying a lot. And we have this very often in Korean language. Uh, and we don't have this in in other languages, mm-hmm. I think. They imitate the sound of something. Yeah, there are a lot more onomatopoeia expressions in Korean. And mm-hmm. they can be somewhat difficult to master. <laughs> often Korean people also uh, make mistakes yeah. when, when using them too. So. Very true. Keep practicing, everybody. You're doing a great job. And uh, Nelly, uh, since you're listening right now, I guess, uh, make sure you also send us another message with your uh, introduction in Korean. We'll be looking forward to that. Yeah. Continue working hard. You're on the right track right now. And I think you're already pretty advanced. Mm-hmm. Uh, 
at least to what we've heard right now. You Otherwise, you're a really good actor. <laughs> you know what? I think it would be <laughs> really cool if um, Nelly and Robin collaborated. Did something, right? Yeah, together. He does the rap part, or <laughs> she does the rap part, and, and you do also uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. the singing. Mm, Why not? We'll really hook cool. you up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, if you want to participate, you can do the same. You can also win some presents. What are we going to send them, Hyunwoo? We're going to send you one of our books, Talk to Me in Korean books. Yeah. So please send us your mailing address so that we can send you a book with our autographs on it. That's right. Contact information and address on the message board, please. And uh, Hyunwoo will send you one of his books. Mm -hmm. I'm talking to you, Robin, and also Nelly. Do that right now. And for those of you who want to participate, next week we will also listen to more audio clips. So send us your messages. You can uh, introduce yourself. You can imitate someone. You can sing. You can act. And you can also try to use the word 사랑. Yeah. Is that 사랑, all right? 사랑. Okay, we'll play some more music and we'll be back. We will answer your questions next. So don't go anywhere. This is A Pink Lovely Day. All right, lovely day. A pink. I hope it is a lovely day today for all of you. I'm guessing some of you probably are excited because it's the weekend. Yeah, and some of our listeners might be already or still in bed. Yeah. Like preparing Early morning. to wake up. While That's listening right. to our voices. Do you have a, a favorite day, Hanu? My favorite day would be, I didn't, I don't know, like in the past, I didn't have a favorite day of the week. But these days, Friday and Saturday are my favorite days. Friday and Saturday. Yeah, because like even though I don't do anything crazy, on Fridays and Saturdays, I am allowed sort of to do, you know, things until up. Like until very late at night, okay. I can be sleeping in the next day. So you yeah. don't have any constraints. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So I'm more free to do whatever I want. And, and I guess and you can also maybe spend more time with your wife. Exactly. And that she's too. She's probably yeah. happy as well. Mm -hmm. And I, I always do things together with my wife. Yeah. So yeah, Fridays, Saturdays. Okay. Today Sun is a good day too. It is a good day today. Yeah. Okay, very good. We'll try to keep it that way. Try to smile, everyone. We'll try to entertain you here with some questions. Uh, people are learning Korean, and sometimes when you learn a language, you bump into obstacles. That's right. And uh, sometimes you really can't clarify something alone. Mm -hmm. So we are here for you, and Hyunwoo Sanseng-nim will help you. Uh, we have several questions. We'll try to go down the list. Mm -hmm. uh, we had a, a question about... Youngnam, and I'm not too sure how I can help this person. What is Youngnam? Youngnam. <laughs> Youngnam. So uh, often people hear this word Youngnam in dramas these days, especially Answer Me 1994. Mm -hmm. uh, there are many characters who have moved to Seoul to attend this university. I think it's Yonsei University in the drama, and uh, some people have traveled from Masan, Busan to mm -hmm. live in Seoul. And Masan, Busan, and Daegu, these uh, area, these uh, areas and cities, are actually part of Yeongnam. So Gyeongsangdo is often called Yeongnam. Oh, why is that? Yeongnam. Yeongnam. Okay, Nam means south. Nam means south, and, and Yeong refers to what? Yeong means uh, it comes from the Daegwanyeong. Oh, and Ryong can. <laughs> be, We're getting mountain, a bit technical here. Yeah, you know the mountain uh, ranges. Yeah. So Ryong is actually the mountain range. Oh. Huh. And Yongseo, <laughs> Yongdong, Yongdong, and Yongseo uh -huh. can be different areas. East, west, and then uh, like below that mountain range. You say Yong Yongnam Nam. because it's the south. Yeah. Even though. The Jeolla province is also below mm -hmm. in the south of the Ryeong, the range. Mm -hmm. For some reason, um, the Gyeongsang province is only called, only called yeah, Yeongnam. Yeongnam. So I when see. you hear Yeongnam, it's the Gyeongsang province. And when you hear uh, mm -hmm. Honam, Honam is also the uh, Jeolla province. So it's like a nickname for that province. Okay. Yeah. I see. So it's a province uh, to give you more details here. Um, we also had another expression, and maybe you can help us uh, with this one as well. It's a funny one. Yeah. Kulkulhada. 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 <laughs> yeah, so. Kulkul. Kul -kul, that's like a, a teji, no? It's yeah, a pig. sound, sound Kul -kul. that teji pigs Kul -kul. make. Yeah, kulkul. So in <laughs> Korean, oink oink is kulkul. <laughs> Kul -kul -kul. Yes. Oink oink. I don't know which sounds more like a pig. Uh, Kul -kul 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 or oink oink oink. This. 
<laughs> this sounds more like a pig. Yeah, that's the best sound <laughs> yes. to describe pigs' sounds. Uh, yeah, in Korean, if you say kul kul, it's the sound that pigs make. But mm-hmm. if you say it as an expression, kul kul hada, it has nothing to do with pigs. It's if you just, use it as a verb like this, kul kul hada. Kul kul hada, it's a slang expression. You wouldn't write it or you wouldn't say it in formal occasions. But it means you are like feeling down, you're bummed mm. out, you are not feeling very good. The weather is really overcast, so you can be feeling ah, oh, cool, hmm. So you're basically describing your emotional state. Yeah, mood or emotional state. You're not really happy or excited, or you're not feeling very energetic. Hmm. You're under the weather. So if it's raining outside, can you say ah, oh, 오늘 cool, cool, 하다? Exactly. If you do not enjoy rainy days, yeah. you can say that. If you like mm. rainy days, you wouldn't say this. So, kul kul hada is just a way to say you're not a, you're not very uh-huh. happy or excited on that day. When you're feeling a bit down, I can say to Hyunwoo 선생님, mm-hmm. uh, na 오늘 기분이 kul kul hai. Kul hai. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah that works. Kibun is my what my feeling. mood. Yeah, your feeling yeah. is kul kul hai. Okay, so that's uh, another expression you can keep in mind when you're not feeling too good, when you, I don't know, you're not really excited. <laughs> yeah. I hope it's not the case because, guys, you're listening to Catch the Wave and it's Friday. Come yeah. on, <laughs> do something. I'm sure everybody's happy. And we have another question up here, and uh-huh. that is, um, we at Talk to Me in Korean, uh, the Talk to Me in Korean team get yeah. this um, question very often. What is it? Um, it's actually twofold. One is, can you give me a Korean name? And ah. another uh, type of question is, how do you say to someone, can you give me a Korean name? How do you say that? Yeah. So uh, just to clarify, a lot of people ask, what is my Korean name? I have this, my original <laughs> name. <laughs> my name is James. What is my Korean name? Well, you don't have a Korean name Yet. in that case. Yeah, in that case. Or you can make it Korean, James. I think with that question, what is my Korean name? I think that's what, what they mean. What they mean is how do you say my name in the Korean way, yeah. which is James or Adrian, you know, put and You have to break Frank. it down basically using the Korean letters. Exactly. So that's why sometimes it doesn't really sound the same. Yeah, especially with letters like uh, F or V, v they're replaced with P and B or like F. Yeah. F, yeah. So People hear prank instead of Frank, or Robin instead of Robin. Uh-huh. So that that can be your Korean version of yes. your name. Name, but That's true. Uh, you don't have a Korean name yet. So the way to get a Korean name is to actually make one. And mm-hmm. <laughs> Korean names are actually very arbitrary. So you have to observe. Lots of Korean names. Or maybe and pick you, one. you watch Korean movies or Korean dramas, and you can, if you like a character. Uh, you can maybe use his name or her name. Yeah. <laughs> why not? That's yeah, maybe a not? good way. And you have a little story to explain why this is your Korean name. Yeah. You, you <laughs> just have to be exposed to lots of Korean names yeah. and you have to pick one that you like. Or you can ask maybe if you have Korean friends uh, either in your city or maybe online. Yeah. You, you can, can also ask them, ask them. What do I look like? What kind of Korean name do I look like? You can ask them. Which Korean name suits me the most? Yeah. And they can try to come up with a name that also sounds like... Your name, for example, if your name is Susan, maybe Suji or something like that, something or at least similar. one syllable yeah. is the same, yeah, at least the consonants. Yeah, so you can ask them. And the way to ask this question is, mm-hmm. <laughs> Can you give me a Korean name? Okay. Sounds good. Well, thank you very much. Uh, and hopefully you will also uh, get a Korean name soon if you don't already have one. You can yeah. also send us your names and we will try to uh, <laughs> pronounce them uh, the Korean way. Yeah. I Why mean, not? You don't need a Korean name, but if no. you are interested, you if can you want one. Make and it's one always fun, yourself. you know, when you learn languages to uh, have a name from that language. Yeah. Uh, I, uh, for your reference, I do not have a English name. But many people actually here in Korea, when they're learning English at school, Mm -hmm. they come up with an English name, no? Yeah, they pick uh, a name or their teachers pick a name for you. Yeah. But... And sometimes on your business card here in Korea, yeah. uh, if you look on one side, you have your Korean name, Mm -hmm. and on the other side, you have your international name. Yeah, the reason that I didn't pick a Korean uh, English name for myself is I didn't want to associate myself with the images 
that the other person has, like before me meeting before meeting me uh -huh. from their previous encounters. Like okay. if I if I call myself James, they might know other Jameses. And you don't want to be, you know, I want to be like Hanu. them. Yeah, you want I, to be unique. Yeah, yeah. And since you're teaching Korean, I guess it's good that you stick with your Korean name, mm -hmm. Hyunwoo. <laughs> Thank you very much for coming in. We'll have another edition of uh, K Talk prepared for you, our listeners, and you, our viewers, next week. Uh, and if you have any questions, any curiosities, send us a message on Facebook and also on ArirangRadio.com. Thank you very much, Hyunwoo. Thank you, and I'll see you next week. 감사합니다. 감사합니다. This is Xinhua. This love.